Here we go, here we go. Everybody, so glad you could tune in. It's Tuesday. Damn. Already. What day of the week is it, Carol? She's over there. No, I think it's <laughs> it's actually Thursday. I, I'm here to play for you. It's the last day of. Well, it's the high holy, high holiest day of the month. Uh, Yom Kippur, Good Yom Tov, as they say, the Day of Atonement. And uh, just like you know, think real hard, but all those, all those sins that you want to wash away.
most of the 20 minute mark. Yes, 20 minutes seems to be the benchmark for my improvs on this, this particular program. Uh, I'm saving it though for the master class. I'm going to give a master class on Zoom uh, just for you, <laughs> subscribers. And uh, you know who you are. I want to single out Pippa Casey, probably my biggest fan in the world. Certainly the biggest one down under. She lives in Sydney, Australia. She just graduated from Music Academy and she has witnessed, I think, every live stream I've done since the beginning of lockdown. I think it's about 230 now. I gotta check that figure. I've tried to repost most of them on YouTube for those who are not <laughs> eager to partake of the Facebook experience. Uh, and uh, I get it, although, you know, it's just a means to get <laughs> my music across uh, in this period where, uh, actually, now that I think of it, had I really known more about how easy it was to live stream, I would have done it a long time ago, uh, with the advent of, of the availability of the social media tools, but hey, I'm not all the time so focused on, on messaging and whatnot. I mean, there's a lot of controversy surrounding social media uh, as not only being a time suck, but a great big uh, social social uh, calamity in so many ways, certainly for young people who are body shaming themselves by observing other people in a competitive spirit and you know, feeling that they don't measure up to whatever image is the, the paradigm. It's really, <laughs> it has all sorts of uh, ramifications, does it not? But uh, I'd love to communicate with any like-minded people who tune in, and uh, it, you know, it's always fun to share new stuff that I'm working on or we're obsessing on at the moment. So, anyway, uh, what am I reading that I'd like to to like pass on to you? I just got this in the mail today, so I haven't said I can't say it. I'd be on reading it, but it's the book of Disquiet by Fernando Pessoa the Portuguese writer of whom I, I, I've got a book of his poetry which I thought was pretty pretty great. And this is uh, his most famous novel. And there is a piece in the London Review of Books about two weeks old that's an appreciation of a new biography, a thousand pager by Richard Zenith. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, who has edited and translated a lot of Peshwa's work. And uh, that, I'm sure it's fast. I mean, from the description of the book and his life by, again, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Colin Tobin, the Irish writer who's resident in New York, I guess, who's teaching currently at NYU or Columbia or something. Uh, he led an exemplary, albeit not that not, not, not that celebrated life as a man of letters in uh, Portugal at the turn of the century. And his, his main feature seems to be that he was able to create alter egos, about five of them, with names, astrological signs, birth dates, that he could inhabit with will and uh, write a lot of his stuff in these different voices and keep them all separate in his head. And thus, by blurring his actual identity as, I guess, like, you know, a, a sort of closeted gay, gay man at that period. But uh, this book, The Book of Disquiet, comes with uh, much praise, so I'm eager to delve into it. But i got to finish a couple of other things that are on the turntable, as it were. And then another book I just got in. You can see I love books. <laughs> many of volume, rare and otherwise uh, commonplace over there. This is the biography of my friend Tosh Berman, which is called Tosh. City Lights Press published it. And Tosh is the offspring of Wallace Berman, 
who was a very well-known, celebrated West Coast artist, hipster, literati. They just had an opening here in Tausch, was there and invited me to attend. <laughs> Lulu did not attend, but she wishes she could have attended. Carolyn attended. I saw Jim Marshall and Ian McCain there, Alan Licht, a few other people. Um, in New York, I don't know if I'm And uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's saying, in case you don't realize it, play with me. Play with me. She was fed already and She's feeling her own. She's just going up from the throw the ball. Come on, Lulu. Yeah. I switched the camera on Lulu. I hope you don't do that during my Zoom where I'm going to have to refund folks. This is a freebie. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to pay for. Anyway, uh, Tosh has got a great blog called The World of Tosh Berman that I so enjoy, which he gifted me with, that I, I follow. And, uh, He's a big fan of Sparks, he knows those guys, and I did hip him to the fact that the persona of that character as played by, oh, I'm blanking out because Lulu is distracting me, but, Caroline, who is that great actor in the new movie, the Sparks, the, the lead actor? The band Sparks did the music for this thing that we saw. Isn't it funny how these things just I like saw float some, in I saw out of it? Nothing has any permea per permeability, permeability anymore. Every, right, everything rising converges. It's, it's the, the unbearable lightness of being in the 21st century here, where we're really reduced to just O's and ones, O's and ones, and ciphers. In cypherspace, you can <coughs> put up. Just so much music out and they'll steamroll over and right over you if you're not careful, so anyway. Uh, it's a really good movie and it's called Whoops. Hello Caroline, help me out here. It's named after a net. That's right, it's oh, a called net. a net. The little dog. It's quite a good movie, folks, and I heartily recommend it anyway. The name of the character is played by this guy. God, the lead actor, please. Adam Driver. Adam Driver. Very good. Not to be confused with Adam Sandler and other fine Jewish actors out there. Adam Driver plays a character who is a black humorous comedian, sort of like Michelle Welbeck, but uh, an Anglo version of it in the future. I think this takes place in the future, if I'm not mistaken, in LA. And his act is abusing the audience in a sort of a Lenny Bruceian sense, or maybe even if you know about the Rat Fink room, you could say he was an updated Jackie Cannon without the jokes for the John and the toilet humor. But anyway, he's a theater of cruelty, Artorian, kind of a, a you know, Tobin character, and his act is billed as the ape of God. Now, that rang a bell with me right away as uh, Wyndham Lewis has a very famous satire on uh, the whole arts and literary scene post-World War I that came out about 1927 called The Apes of God and everybody was skewered in this book. So many of the Bloomsbury set, Edith Sitwell, and on and on. And uh, he made this book also 700 pages. It's like the Peshawar biography. So people had to sit there with this like this weighty tone, literally. I have a first edition in the other room I could show you. And uh, so it was an uncomfortable to hold kind of reading experience, and probably more so uncomfortable if they identified themselves as these thinly veiled caricatures as portrayed by Wyndham Lewis. So, okay, that's enough about that. But I'm looking forward to reading Tasha's book. It comes with all sorts of endorsements. So various luminaries, uh, some of them will live in New York, so it's got to be good, you know it, but I can tell you after reading his writing, I, I really enjoy his blog, The World of Taj Berman, and uh, that's about it, that's all i got to say for now, I'm saving it up for 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Masterclass, and it's a three-parter, you can 
you know, join for a day. You could be king or queen for a day here. And I'll talk right to you. My friend Anna Lindart in Sao Paulo is running the event. My digital assistant, thank you. Anna. And Lulu will be there in spirit, if not in flesh. And I'll hold her up for a public display. Thanks so much for tuning in today, and I will see you on Saturday by hook or by crook. Okay. Okay.